Hello and welcome back to this tutorial on creating a simple PHP strategy game. Now what we did in the last part was we went over the rankings page which will list all the players that you can battle. One thing I'm going to add for this tutorial and the next tutorial is going to be the turns that you will use to battle other players. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the structure of the stats table and we're going to add one field at the end of the table and we're just going to call it turns and we can save it as that and there we're all set with that it can be signed or unsigned um, again I don't think a player is going to reach two billion turns in a game depending on how long you go uh, before you may reset their stats or anything. So now what we're going to do is we are going to change the registration page to reflect the changes that we've made in the income, farming, turns, and rankings. So if you haven't already, I'm not sure if you did or not, you need to add income, farming, and turns to the stats insertion. Um, then the values will be 10, 11, and 100. Each registered user will start off with 100 turns to battle, and each time a turn, a you know major turn in the game takes place, they will receive more of these battle turns. Um, let me just see, yes, okay. So we have that there, and now what we w need to do is we can just add this down here, ins5 is equal to mysql query, insert into ranking, we have our, uh, what did we have again, sorry, attack, defense, and overall, so we have attack, defense and overall rankings and the values are going to be 0, 0 and 0. Whoopsie. Where, uh, I was just thinking something else. Or die mysql error. I was thinking of, you know, where id equals session id but again we're inserting these so we don't have to worry about that. So now what happens is if the user registers, everything should be up to date. So now what we're going to do is, as you can see in the rankings page, we have this stats.php that we have to worry about. And that's going to be the primary focus of this part of the tutorial. But before I get into that, let me just go over to main and I will add in the number of turns turns and turns so if you just copy and paste like the farming and switch the two to turns we will see now that there we have zero turns but that's because we didn't actually uh, change this to 100 turns for the default that is so now we have 100 turns that we can use. So what we're going to do now is create a new page and we are going to call this stats.php. So now what we can do is simply let's just uh, we'll just copy and paste the rankings page if you already have that open because essentially what we need here is just this. Now this checks first to see if they're logged in. But secondly we want to check do they have a an ID attached. So if we go back to battle players and say we just go to or say we just go to stats.php we don't want that because there's no ID so there's no user that's going to be displayed. So we say if not is set get 
ID and we're going to we're not going to protect this just because if they do try to hack well the only thing they can modify is just this simple if statement well at least that's what I think but we'll we'll get to that later so now we'll just output um, you have visited this page incorrectly and leave it as that so now if we go back here we go to stats like that but if we add an ID and we say one actually let's just change this to zero you'll understand in a second there is not there is a get ID so now we say else and we say ID will be equal to protect get ID so now we have the protected ID we want to see if there's a user that actually exists with that ID so we'll say user check is equal to mysql query select we'll just use an asterisk here just because um, if um, what do I want to say if there is no user then the page is going to end and the memory that was used for this whole query will essentially be erased which will be means freed up but if there is a user then we're already going to have this data so we'll just stick with that from user where ID is equal to whoopsie is just equal to ID or die my SQL error so now that we have that we go if my SQL num rows of user check is equal to zero that means that there is no user found we will output there is no user with that ID else that in this else state or in this else block we will continue on with the page so now that we see that ID is equal to zero and there is no zero ID so we refresh there is no user with that ID so now we're going to basically create the page that has all of their stats I'm just going to pause the video for a second to see how much time I have left okay I think I have a good enough time left so now what we're going to do is again we're going to start off with the center tags and the h2 tags and we're going to say player stats we will add in a break line and now we're going to PHP we're going to echo the oh we never actually did okay so up here first um, let me just get rid of that for the time being so now we have to say we'll just say um, I don't know um, s underscore user for stats user I guess mysql query or no not mysql query sorry fetch fetch a soch um, no quotes sorry user check so now we have the user so now we're going to echo s underscore user brackets single quotes username now this should echo out copophobia if we go back to one there so we have copophobia so now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, close these again open that up and we're going to say uh, B actually yeah we'll just leave it as this rank and that and you'll see in a second and then we have gold 
there once again. And then this is going to be, we're going to make a form that will have the action we will be battle.php the method will be post sorry and we're going to say um, first we'll just put an italics attacks on then in PHP we echo s underscore oopsie s underscore user in the last 24 hours and you'll see what I'm gonna do probably in the next tutorial so now what we have here is this we say attack um, so we'll say number of turns and that will have an input type will be text name oopsie name will be turns hold on for a second okay due to me not having uh, as much time as I'd wanted possibly I just decided to pause the video and put in everything I wanted to put in so right here we have the select stats and select rank which you can pause the video here and copy this stuff down okay so once we have that this is our selecting our uh, whoopsie stats sorry so we have our stats and our ranking so we echo out our username right here in the rank in the gold we do php echo we have s rank overall and number format s stats gold so now if we go over here and refresh the page oh man my SQL sorry underscore underscore ranking so that's that so now you can copy and paste this I'm going to pause the video so you can do that and limit I'm approaching the limit for this video so you can pause it here copy the stuff down and I will explain it in the next part see you in the next video